What is up everybody, welcome back to my channel Mystic Watch and today we got a quick video going over the anniversary campaigns and things of that assortment. So, uh, you know, a lot of people don't realize that Naruto Blazing Anniversary is more than just the banner. So even though the anniversary itself might not be the best one that we've had, I would like to explain to you everything that we are getting outside of the banner. Uh, the celebrations, the campaigns, things that you have to look forward to uh, as you continue to play this game and my Facebook Messenger just rang. I'm gonna shut that up okay but before I get started one thing that I would like to note is that if you guys saw the if you guys saw this at all and wasn't sure what this was about we got a you know extension of free multi summons for another four days so that's another four multi summons for free you know another 200 pearls worth of multi summons another chance another four chances actually to get yourself a copy of Naruto or Sasuke and as low as the rates might B, you'd be surprised how many people are actually, you know, sitting here getting these units off of the banner. You know, if you just take a look at my, like, I'll go on my Twitter and I'll just see non-stop everyone adding me, hey, look at my free multi-summon, look at my free multi-summon, and it's just Naruto, 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 Sasuke, Sasuke. One guy even got both. So, there you have it. But, the reason for this extension, if you guys were curious about it, is that uh, prior to... I, they fixed it a couple days ago, right? But what would happen was, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it before, at least it might have happened to some, where you would do your multi-summon and then you'd go back and you'd see a second multi-summon there. But when you did the second one, it would be, it would just say data update available and send you back to the main screen, right? So that's what they're claiming here, but I think the real reason was that you were getting, not everyone noticed this, right? You were actually getting two multi-summons a day if you did it right. So you were getting two genuine free multi summons a day. And what happened was, if you guys, for example, had a let's say the day resets at 11 a.m. right? But what happens is not necessarily when like the banner resets when it's 24 hours have passed, right? It's not when the day resets, right? So it's not like if you did a summon at you know 10 a.m. and the banner resets at 11 a.m. You know, you'd come back in an hour and you'd see the banner again for the next day. No, you'd have to wait till next morning, 10 a.m. But what happened was you were getting two multis a day because that exact scenario that I just said, it was actually happening where you would do one summon and then the day would reset and you get a second summon. And all of a sudden you were like, whoa, what's going on? So something like that. Now, I didn't realize that at first I was just doing one summon a day, but, you know, people have noted on the Reddit that this actually happened. And the other issue was that you could change your time zone and you would be getting an extra multi by doing that as well. So that was like something that threw off the game. So it's really funny that we, for getting extra multi summons are, you know, I guess what their version of compensation is giving us even more multi summons. So, you know, it sucks if you guys weren't able to, I'd say abuse or, you know, exploit this issue, but either way, we're getting four extra multi summons that you guys can go and enjoy. Now, going on to the actual Naruto Blazing Anniversary website, things to look forward to, right? We have four missions, and we're currently at, I don't know how many, what is that, one, 112 million points. Now, what do the points actually mean, right? So, if we go over to step three, I don't know if you can read it properly, let me zoom in a little bit. Step three has to do with our points, and we're already on growth stage three. But if you guys saw the first two stages, we got 10 Ninja Pearls, one 6 star uh, Limit Break Crystal. Uh, that is the ultimate crystal, right? That works with Blazing Fest characters. Growth Stage 2, uh, this is pretty much useless, so that's not even something to worry about. Growth Stage 3, 15 Ninja Pearls, and 6 star Limit Break Crystal. And these, the thing is, like, you know, it might not seem like a big deal, but these ultimate crystals are, you know, really hard to come by. So I'll take any one that I get. So right now, we're already at 25 Pearls. We haven't gotten the rewards yet, so you still have... 25 pearls to get right now growth stage 4 is where we start getting a little bit more like actual feasible amount of coins 22,000 granny cat coins and 22,000 trial coins right uh like i said this is it's still like not that much honestly these should be like i don't, I don't want to say like a hundred thousand that it doesn't fit their theme but you, you can't have 222,000 that's just too much but i guess this is close enough like the best thing they could do growth stage 5 so we're not even half, well, we are over halfway to growth stage 5. That's where we get another 25 pearls, another limit break crystal, and the a big thing is acquisition stone, right? So for those of you who were lucky enough to pull the units and don't have acquisition stones, here's one that is coming your way. 
So we're currently at 112,000 and we need in total 222,000, right? Now you just get, I don't know if I can see the... Let me see if I can see the... Um, I don't know where they show how your points are tracked. It was written somewhere, right? But... Oh, there we go. Uh, these are how you get points. Very simple. So, you can literally do anything, you'll get points. So story mode, uh, I'm pretty sure it falls under various missions, but everything else... Like, I'm telling you right now, the reason we actually have this many points to begin with is probably because of Phantom Castle. Everyone is going hard in Phantom Castle. I'm trying to get top 100 right now, and it's insane. I'm probably at 100 pearls spent trying to get the top 100. And yeah, I'm doing it for just myself. Like, I don't... You don't need Hagoromo's last dupe for him to, to get, like, his full maximum value out. You only need one one off that. So you, as long as you get top 1,000, you're good. But either way, you know, that is a tough Phantom Castle. You got plenty of people playing. Now, the last thing is one character. And this is what people are speculating. What does one character mean? Now, like, this is not going to happen. But you, you never know. You, you, you can hope. So someone su suggested, what if the possibility of getting the anniversary unit was the one character? And it, that's probably not going to happen. Like, the chance of that happening is less than the rate of the anniversary units themselves, right? Because <laughs> like, they're not just going to hand out to literally every single person playing the game a free anniversary unit. But that doesn't mean that you can't get a character so what i think at least this is my personal thing that we're gonna get is if you guys saw the poll right where's the poll right the four characters chosen in the big boost poll on the second anniversary countdown will appear with enhanced stats in a special summon get a feature character for zero ninja pearls guaranteed at summon right level one okay so what i think it is one character is that you're gonna get one single summon on this banner and you're just guaranteed to get one of these units. That's honestly what I think I, what I think it is. Now, if they do that, I think that is a good enough reward, right? Like these units are all good, and but they're not like game breaking, right? Like you don't like just win the game off of getting these units. So it's not a reward that Bandai feels like you know we're we're giving out too much if you do it. So that's what I personally think the one character is. But yeah, um, let's see the next mission. Mission number three, you know, mission number two is the anniversary lottery, right? A lot of people have been asking me in my streams and comment sections is that where are my lottery tickets? Now, if you go into the news and you scroll all the way down, all the way down to the bottom, you'll see the news for the lottery. When you click on that, it'll tell you exactly how many lottery tickets you have. Now, lottery tickets are just something you get with logging in every day. You got to make sure you log in every single day and you'll get your lottery tickets. They're not going to be in your material box. They're not going to be in your inventory. You'll see them on that news info, right? That's where it'll tell you exactly how many tickets you have. Assuming you log in every single day, you'll get five lottery tickets, and then you'll have five chances to get yourself 2,222 Ninja Pearls. Uh, second place is this. Third prize is actually really good, right? Now, I don't know how many people are gonna get this, right? I don't think it's like, you're just gonna get, like, I don't think there's gonna be seven winners, right? That doesn't make sense to me. I feel like, okay, first place, one person's gonna get that, but I'm pretty sure multiple people are gonna get these ones down below. This third prize, like, it's it's not 1,000 pearls, but it's still, like, amazing. 200,000 coins, you get five acquisition stones, five, like, five acquisition stones is huge, right? It's fully duping a character out, essentially. One off if they're a Blazing Fest character with six dupes. And then, you know, so on, so down. Like, even, I don't know, these are pretty good prizes, I'm not gonna lie. Now, mission three, uh, we're giving, okay, we, we already know this. Kashi Guidance, yada yada, login for 70 days, okay, okay, 70 pearls, we know that. Current access count, what is this? Oh, okay, yeah, we gotta make sure, you know, share the site, yeah, okay, and so on, you know, okay. Facebook, you saw my name, it's already open, okay, have fun. Now, just share the site, and if we reach the, the maximum thing, we get 10 pearls. That's really it for the anniversary. We have the Super Impact coming out tomorrow on Global. You guys uh, might have already seen it if you guys follow JP. But yeah, that's really it for the second anniversary. I just wanted to make sure I went over everything because not everyone knew what was going on with the anniversary. There were some more stuff that was hidden, like uh, these battle points and so on. So hopefully this cleared some stuff up for you and especially those four extra multis are really nice. And yeah, have a wonderful anniversary and I'll see you guys after the update. Peace out.